Is being an INFJ a curse or a blessing? The INFJ personality type is often described as one of the most complex and intriguing within the Myers-Briggs personality types. They are highly intuitive, deeply empathetic, and committed to making the world a better place. But with all these unique traits, some INFJs may feel conflicted. Is being an INFJ a blessing, offering profound insight and compassion? Or does it sometimes feel like a curse, leaving them misunderstood, overwhelmed, and emotionally drained? In today's video, we're going to explore the gifts and challenges that come with this rare personality and help you understand how INFJs can embrace both sides of their nature. Whether you're an INFJ yourself or you know one, keep watching as we unpack the paradox of this personality type. 1. The INFJ's Deep Empathy A Blessing and a Curse INFJs are known for their deep, almost otherworldly empathy. They can often sense the emotions of those around them without a word being spoken. This profound emotional insight makes them excellent listeners, caregivers, and friends. INFJs have an innate ability to make others feel understood and supported. This empathy allows INFJs to connect with people on a deep, authentic level. They often excel in helping professions like counseling, teaching, or activism, where their compassion can be used to uplift others. While their empathy is a gift, it can also be overwhelming. INFJs often absorb the emotions of others to the point of exhaustion. They may feel the pain of those around them so deeply that they neglect their own emotional well-being, leading to burnout or emotional overload. INFJs must learn to set boundaries with their empathy. While their desire to help others is noble, they need to protect their own mental and emotional health by practicing self-care and emotional detachment when necessary. 2. The INFJ's Intuition A Powerful Gift With A Lonely Side INFJs are dominated by introverted intuition, which allows them to see patterns, make connections, and often predict outcomes long before others do. This intuitive insight helps them navigate the world with a sense of purpose and foresight. INFJs have an uncanny ability to sense things before they happen. Their intuition helps them make decisions that align with their deeper values and gives them the sense that they are moving towards something meaningful. They often know things intuitively without being able to explain how they arrived at the conclusion, which can give them a strategic edge in problem-solving or leadership. Despite their strong intuition, INFJs can feel misunderstood by others. Since they process information on such a deep, intuitive level, it can be difficult to explain their insights to people who rely more on concrete data. This can lead to frustration and feelings of isolation, as INFJs may feel like they are always seeing the bigger picture while others remain focused on surface-level details. INFJs should embrace their intuition but also recognize that not everyone will understand it. Rather than becoming frustrated, INFJs can seek out like-minded individuals who appreciate their unique perspective and find ways to communicate their insights in a way that resonates with others. 3. The INFJ's Idealism Driven to Make a Difference INFJs are deeply idealistic, always envisioning a better world and working toward positive change. Their desire for justice, authenticity, and harmony drives them to advocate for causes they believe in and to seek out meaningful, purposeful work. This idealism fuels INFJ's passion to make the world a better place. Whether through their careers or personal projects, INFJs are motivated by a desire to contribute to the greater good. They are often seen as visionaries, inspiring others with their commitment to positive change. INFJ's high ideals can sometimes clash with the harsh realities of the world. They may feel disheartened or frustrated when their efforts don't lead to immediate results or when they encounter resistance to their ideas. This can cause feelings of disappointment, burnout, or even cynicism over time. INFJs need to balance their idealism with patience and pragmatism. While it's essential to dream big and strive for a better future, it's equally important to accept that change often happens slowly. By setting realistic expectations and celebrating small victories along the way, INFJs can maintain their passion without burning out. 4. The INFJ's Need for Deep, Meaningful Connections INFJs crave deep, meaningful relationships. 
Surface-level interactions and small talk often leave them feeling unsatisfied. They seek out emotional and intellectual depth in their connections, longing for conversations that go beyond the superficial. When INFJs find people they truly connect with, these relationships are incredibly fulfilling. INFJs are loyal, attentive, and deeply invested in the well-being of their loved ones. They often form lifelong bonds with those who understand and appreciate their depth. However, because INFJs are so selective about their connections, they often feel lonely or isolated. It can be difficult for them to find people who truly understand and match their emotional intensity. This can lead to feelings of alienation or sadness, especially if they are surrounded by people who prefer more casual, shallow relationships. INFJs should remember that while deep connections are rare, they are incredibly valuable. It's okay for them to have a smaller social circle if it's filled with people who truly understand and appreciate them. They can also learn to appreciate more casual connections for what they offer without feeling like they need to connect deeply with everyone they meet. 5. The INFJs struggle with boundaries giving too much. INFJs are natural givers. They often go above and beyond to help others, whether it's emotionally, mentally, or physically. While this makes them incredibly supportive and nurturing, it also leaves them vulnerable to being taken advantage of. INFJs have a powerful capacity to make a difference in the lives of others. Their selflessness and kindness can transform relationships and inspire people to grow and change. They are often the rock in their relationships, providing a steady source of comfort and guidance. Without proper boundaries, INFJs can end up feeling drained, resentful, or even exploited. Because they often put others' needs ahead of their own, they may neglect their own self-care, leading to emotional exhaustion or burnout. INFJs need to develop strong boundaries to protect their emotional and mental well-being. By learning to say no and prioritize their own needs, they can continue to help others without sacrificing their own happiness or health. 6. The INFJ's introverted nature needing solitude in an extroverted world. As introverts, INFJs require regular solitude to recharge. However, they also care deeply about their relationships and the world around them, which can create a tension between their need for alone time and their desire to stay connected to others. Solitude allows INFJs to reflect, recharge, and connect with their inner world. It's during these moments of quiet that INFJs often experience their most profound insights and creative breakthroughs. Their introverted nature allows them to process the world deeply and come to understand themselves and others on a more meaningful level. In a world that often rewards extroversion, INFJs may feel pressure to socialize more than they're comfortable with, leading to feelings of exhaustion or even guilt for needing time alone. They may struggle to explain their need for solitude to others who don't understand why they sometimes withdraw. INFJs should embrace their introversion and recognize that solitude is essential for their well-being. By communicating their needs clearly to others, they can maintain their relationships while also ensuring they get the alone time they need to recharge. So, is being an INFJ a curse or a blessing? The answer is both, and neither. Being an INFJ comes with unique gifts, such as deep empathy, strong intuition, and a desire to make the world a better place. However, it also presents challenges, like emotional overwhelm, difficulty setting boundaries, and feelings of isolation. Ultimately, whether being an INFJ feels like a blessing or a curse depends on how well they can embrace both sides of their nature. By learning to set boundaries, prioritize self-care, and accept their unique strengths and challenges, INFJs can turn what might feel like a curse into a profound blessing. If you're an INFJ, do you see your personality as more of a blessing or a curse? Let us know in the comments below.